So, how excited, Charlie versus Goliath, huh? You've heard of Goliath. Yes, I have. That's, it's quite, quite a daunting comparison you have here with this film, with this film title. But yours is an amazing story, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, I really believe everyone has an amazing story to tell, and it's humbling when somebody decides to follow you around and tell your story. You know, your story is such an important one, especially considering the political climate today, what is unfolding every single day, and then there's someone like you. Well, and I'm a proud of someone like Reed Lindsay, who four or five years ago started seeing the problem of money and politics and was very much ahead of his time, and I guess we were marching together with that because it is a big problem, money and politics. And it's also uh, a problem people get afraid to do something because the odds are impossible. But that's what the movie is about. Let's get money out of politics and let's keep fighting even if the odds are impossible. So what led you to this fight and to make this documentary? Well, I met Charlie many years ago in Venezuela. I was a, a journalist in Latin America. And Charlie lived in a cardboard shack in Venezuela for eight years. Uh, voluntarily. You don't meet many people who, who do that. So he's a very impressive guy and he called me up, he said he was running for the U.S. Senate and I told him, you're not a politician, what are you doing? And uh, I went out there and I just found what he was doing, what he was doing very inspiring and I felt like uh, if I could do a film that inspired people as much as I was being inspired by him, that it would be worthy. Well, I, I've seen it already and I am very inspired by it. I think it's fabulous. You know, what you have done it's not your typical documentary where you're just trailing somebody and it's like people talking, 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 talking. We are seeing action and we are seeing what's unfolding. Kudos to you on the editing. Oh, thanks so much. Actually, the, 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 a lot of the uh, good part of the credit, if not most of it, goes to uh, Cameron Clendaniel, Daniel, the editor. He was a, he did a fantastic job. He uh, actually did most of the editing. He, he was a fabulous editor. Yeah. Yeah. It really, it helps, especially with a documentary, as you know, Editing can change a film in a heartbeat, but with a documentary, it's even more crucial so that it will keep everybody engaged. Even though you are very engaging on your own, Charlie. <laughs> I just think the poor editor who had to look at hundreds of hours of, uh, oh, poor guy. He did a wonderful job, though. How many hundreds of hours? 300, 300 hours of footage, yeah. And Cameron Clendaniel deserves all the credit to the editor. He did a f fabulous job. It was a lot, long time. So it, it didn't take that long to film it. It took a long time to edit. Well, guys, congratulations on making, congratulations for everything that you do, Charlie. It is so needed in the world today and in this country. And best, have fun at this festival. Thank you. Thank, Thank you both so much.